Most new ChatGPT users are making simple mistakes, and they don't realize their results can be 10 times as good. So here are seven problems with your AI prompts to stop right now. I've included a bonus prompt at the end, and I've added a link in the comments below to a cheat sheet containing all of the prompts so that you can try them out for yourself. So hit that subscribe button and let's dive into ChatGPT mistakes to avoid. First up is mixing topics in a single chat session. Because ChatGPT references the rest of your chat session, changing topics can pollute results downstream. So start fresh each time. If you have a new topic, create a new chat. How about not being specific enough about your output goals? ChatGPT has been trained to prefer certain outputs, and often people get generic answers as their prompts just aren't specific enough. For example, if you don't want the usual preamble and instead want to get directly into a response, try asking ChatGPT to remove pretext and context or only return certain results. This will dramatically focus ChatGPT and get you the responses you want. Sticking with not being specific enough, did you know that you can give ChatGPT full examples of the kind of output that you're looking for? Most people don't actually realize this. For example, you can pull in some sample text from your own blog or writing, or of the kind of output that you'd expect. Word your prompt carefully to have it replicate the aspects of the example that you like. And you can even ask ChatGPT to replicate other people's blogs and styles to get exactly what you want. Now, ChatGPT is great for explaining, but it's a language model and isn't always 100% correct. If you give it a math problem, the answer will sound convincing, but sometimes only parts of that answer are correct. The math might actually be wrong. And if you're looking for a specifically math-trained algorithm, you may want to check out Wolfram Alpha instead. Next up is not asking ChatGPT to reduce its output. ChatGPT might give you way too much information, or that information may be too much waffle. Did you know that you can actually ask it to help you with that? Most people don't and end up editing the text themselves, which takes a heck of a lot of time and effort. You can actually ask ChatGPT to reduce, remove, compile, or rewrite any responses that it sends you. For example, you could say, make this more concise or more readable, or paraphrase it, or even change it into a different language. ChatGPT can do all of that from the command prompt. Now, single commands are the main cause of bad prompt engineering and poor results. They're quick, but ChatGPT works best when it gets as much information as possible from you. If I'm trying to engineer a new prompt, I might try out a bunch of shorter commands in the terminal, but then bring them all together in a new chat, and that usually produces the best results. So reduce the single line commands and try and compile as much together as possible. Whenever you enter a new prompt, your first result might be good, but usually you can tweak that prompt to make it much better. If the response you get isn't exactly what you want, you need to keep experimenting and iterating. Most people give up way too soon and never try and dive deeper into engineering that prompt, and this means they miss out on getting the best responses possible. So keep going and keep trying. Now, as a quick bonus mistake to avoid, it's crazy how few people actually engineer their prompt around a persona. Now, let me explain this in detail. Rather than just instructing ChatGPT, you'll get better results by asking it to behave like a specific persona. For example, you might say, I want you to act like an interviewer, or I want you to write a story in the style of JK Rowling. If you start your prompt with a persona, ChatGPT will have more understanding of what you expect from the output. And by simulating something, it allows ChatGPT to give you the best response possible. Mm. 
And here's another quick bonus mistake to avoid. While writing a huge paragraph is better than a single command, structuring your prompt using a template will give you the best results possible. Try to structure things so that you have a basic outline. I tend to use something like starting off with a persona, then laying out the tasks, then asking for the steps to be completed, then adding any context or constraints for ChatGPT before finally asking for my goal and the specific format of the output. And that's it. I hope you found this practical dive into ChatGPT really helpful. I've added in a link below to some of my prompt engineering templates so that you can steal those for yourself. And make sure you check out my other videos on generative AI, which I'll put up here, and also some of the videos in the learning and productivity series, which will help you to learn to use ChatGPT better and also get more out of your day. Thanks so much for subscribing and watching, and I'll catch you again next time.